Carey, Director of Campus Card Services here at Gonzaga University. We oversee the ZAG card, our student ID card, as well as the Bulldog Box program. Here's my ID card, issued at, from Florida State University back when John Travolta was making a living dancing. It's kind of old, but I still have it. I didn't need it. It got punched when I paid my tuition and then went back in my desk drawer. Today, our ZAG card does so much more. It is the key to campus living. It is coated with a smart chip and an antenna on the inside. So if a student is enrolled, the information is pushed out to all of the different um, departments on campus that where we can confirm that the student is currently enrolled. Fitness center access, athletic events, library resources, residence hall doors, all need to have the ZAG card to access them. This year, we're very excited that we renewed our agreement with STA, the Spokane Transit Authority. The ZAG card will now be used to access all the buses around town and ride for free. So it's also your key to getting around town. The ZAG card is also required to enter the dining halls, both dining halls. So if you don't have your ZAG card and you show up for a meal, get to go back to your dorm room and get it because you're not going to get into the dining hall. It also is the key to spending your Bulldog Bucks. Bulldog Bucks is a stored value account managed by the university. Funds are available until a student graduates, so they do not expire at the end of each academic year or each semester. Bulldog Bucks is a fee-free account and it makes a great budgeting tool, especially for students that are new to having to manage their money. There's no overdraft fees and if the funds are not available when the transaction is attempted, it simply is not successful. There are restricted items for sale using Bulldog Bucks, and those can be found on our website. Anyone can make a deposit to Bulldog Bucks. All you need is a student ID number and go to the website www.gonzaga.edu slash Bulldog Bucks. The on campus, there are 14 real re retail locations that accept Bulldog Bucks, including concessions and beverage vending. Off campus, we have 13 participating businesses that will accept Bulldog Bucks as well. Pizza, burgers, we've got you covered. Also on campus, there are 10 departments that accept Bulldog Bucks, such as the mail room, health and counseling. We're also launching new WEPA print kiosks this year. The kiosk is simply a print release station. The student logs in, selects what print job they'd like to release, swipes their ZAG card, and Bulldog Bucks are used to pay for it. So if you would like more information about that, you can check out our website. Managing the ZAG card is critical. We're opening doors, we're spending money, and it's important for the student to take care of their ZAG card and know where it is. But oftentimes, they don't know where it is, they think they do, but they don't have it in their hand. It's important for all of us that the student freeze their ZAG card. That simply stops the card from working. You can't open a door and you can't spend money. And so to do that, the student simply logs into ZagWeb to freeze their card. If they find it, they can unfreeze it if it hasn't been replaced. But if they don't find it and they need to replace it, $30 replacement fee, so make sure your student knows where their card is. It's also important that the students do not share their card. We don't want to expose the entire community to potential safety threats and your student exposure to fraud. So, it's important that your student not share their ZAG card. For you new parents out there, two tips, two requests from me. Please have your student upload their photo in ZAGWeb, white background, square photo, facing forward, eyes open, and you can smile. And so upload that in ZAGWeb so that we can have the ZAG card printed and ready when your student arrives to campus. We verify identity when the student picks up their ZAG card. It's important for us to know the person we're handing the card over is the student. So please be sure your student brings along a valid government issued photo ID, such as a driver's license, passport, military ID. It needs to be current, it can't be temporary, it needs to be the original document. If you'd like more information about the ZAG card, visit www.gonzaga.edu slash ZAG card and all the information you'll, will be found right there for you. And also, if you have any questions, I'm always here. Give me a call, send me an email, happy to help. Go Zags!